As we continue to look at the titles given to St. Joseph in the Litany of St. Joseph, today we want to take time to reflect upon Joseph as patron of the dying. Now, I believe that many people have a fear of dying. They may not express it, though some do, but for many it is there. I don't know, do you have a fear of dying? There have been many times when I've shared with people that I'm praying for Jesus to come back now to alleviate us from the misery in which we are living in this world. And they look at me like, are you crazy? Or they make some comment about, well, that's nice, but we don't want it to happen yet. And then there have been times um, as a parish priest when I visit a sick person in the hospital or in their home, they've expressed to me their fear of dying. And yet, don't we all yearn for eternal life? I mean, I guess we do, but not yet. You know, death is a part of life, and for many, it's not an easy part of life. You know, a few weeks ago on Ash Wednesday, we were, we were reminded that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. It's not easy letting go and having to say goodbye. And as a reminder of the reality of death, I know some people who keep a little sign in their chapel or on their desk which says, it's in Latin, memento mori. Like literally it means, remember you must die. And this is not meant to be something that's morbid, but it's just a constant reminder that we're not made for this world, but we're made for union with Christ in eternity. So why would we or should we be afraid of moving into this reality? Was St. Joseph afraid of dying? You know, the scriptures don't tell us much about Joseph. And after the incident of losing and then finding Jesus in the temple when he was 12 or 13, we read nothing more about Joseph. However, because Jesus entrusts Mary to one of his disciples, John at his crucifixion, I think we can make the assumption that Joseph died before Jesus fulfilled his own mission on earth and returned to his father. And for generations, Catholics have uh, painted a picture of Joseph breathing his last with Mary and Jesus by his side to comfort him. You know, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, she's a holy mystic, she shared this insight into the death of St. Joseph when she shared, when Joseph was dying, Mary sat at the head of his bed, holding him in her arms, and Jesus stood just below her near Joseph's breast. And because of the way Joseph lived his life on earth, I would suggest that he was not afraid of dying. I would suppose that he would have had thoughts of concern about Mary and Jesus' future. I mean, what loving husband and father wouldn't have these thoughts? But Joseph had boundless confidence in God's love and mercy. So he must have died trusting in divine providence, full of confidence that God would take care of his wife and son. This is how he lived his life. And friends, this is how he can teach us, you and me, how to live our lives. I believe that if we answer the church's encouragement to prepare ourselves for the hour of our death, we will have no fear of death either, only a joyful anticipation of what is to come. But it begins by us reflecting upon how we are living our life on earth and then entrusting ourselves to St. Joseph, patron of the dying. In the words of St. Alphonsus Liguori, he said, since we all must die, we should cherish a special devotion to St. Joseph that he may obtain for us a happy death. You know, we may not think about this too often, but being prepared for death is important. Why? Because Satan, the evil one, always tries to lead a soul to despair and to turn us away from our loving and merciful God at the hour of death. So for one who is weak in faith, then this spiritual battle takes place over a soul at the hour of death. And so for this reason, we need the intercession of our spiritual father, St. Joseph. We need him to fortify us to protect us and to fill us with this great trust, this deep trust in God's love and mercy. 
To prevent an unhappy death, don't let death catch you off guard like a thief in the night. Here are a few important reminders in helping to prepare ourselves for that moment when you and I will leave this world. First of all, live in communion with the church. As best you can, remain in the state of sanctifying grace. Make regular use of the sacrament of penance. Receive Holy Communion frequently. Stay close to Mary by praying the rosary. Always be prepared. You know neither the time nor the place. And finally, go to St. Joseph and entrust yourself to him. St. Joseph, patron of the dying, pray for us.